everyone, it's Marion from Interbobmin. I just wanted to share with you another idea for how to create a Window Wonderland display at home this year. Window Wonderland is a free event, it's taking place in Bodmin from the 5th to the 13th of December from 5.30 to 8.30pm each evening um, between those dates. So if you would like to create a window to add to the display then just go to windowwonderland.com and click on take part in the event. Likewise if you'd like to go and look at all the windows and have a lovely walk and take in everyone's handiwork then um, pop on the website and have a look at the map and you'll be able to locate all of the properties that are participating have a lovely um, Christmassy lit up walk around the town so we're hoping that lots more people will sign up so if you're thinking about it then um, then please do and do get involved um, the technique I wanted to share with you today is creating a bit of a stained glass window effect and this is the effect that we are using at the library so we've been working hard on our display for the old library and uh, yeah we'll be putting that up ready for Saturday when the event starts so you need to, again, measure the window that you're going to decorate and remember it needs to be one at the front of your property so that people can see it when they're passing by. And then once you've got those measurements, you're just going to cut out some thick black paper, so sugar paper or this is like a black craft paper, um, cut it out to fit over your window pane so that it's completely blacked out. Then you can draw your design onto that um, but you're going to cut out the areas of the design that you want to have lit up and that you want to have colour in. Um, so that can be a little bit trickier to do, um, but you know, sort of keep it simple, do some nice bold designs, that would be my advice having done some work on the one for the old library already. Um, and then what you're going to do once you've cut out your design, um, you're just going to flip the whole thing over and then from the back stick on coloured tissue papers, okay? so. The effect being that obviously when you then put it up in your window and you backlight it with your desk lamp or your fairy lights to get that lovely glow, you're going to get a beautiful stained glass effect with a lot of the window blacked out and then lovely tissue paper colours coming through. So I've got a design planned for my window. Um, it's going to be honouring our NHS, which I think we want to celebrate as well as Christmas this year. So I will let you have a look at what I'm going to do. your design and you've cut out all your shapes and you've stuck your coloured tissue papers on the back um, then all you need to do is pop it up in your window so you can do that using some sellotape or some blue tack whatever you've got um, and then backlight it so again just use a desk lamp or some fairy lights on your windowsill just to give it a lovely glow and um, yeah and then just wait to see how it looks after dark. 